In this video, we're going to prove that if you interchange two rows of a matrix, say a matrix A to get matrix B, then the determinants of A and B just differ by a sign. Okay, so suppose we do the following. Suppose we interchange we interchange row R and S of A to get B. Okay, so let us look at the determinant of B. Well, it's going to equal the summation over all permutations of 1 through n of uh, b1 j1 plus minus b2 j2 all the way up to our say our br j let's just make an assumption Assume R is less than S. Okay, all the way down to BR, JR. Or up to, I should say, all the way up to BS or JS. All the way to BN, JN. Okay. Now, the plus minus comes from the number of inversions we have on the column values. We have an even number of inversions, we have a plus sign. If we have an odd number of inversions, we have a negative sign. Now for the most part, the BIJIs are just AIJI. That is the first one is just A1J1 uh, A two J two, but this one changes. This one is A S J S, and likewise this one changes. Uh, when I say R is less than S, uh, I mean in matrix B. Then we get uh, what do we get? We get A R J R all the way down to B, N, J, N. Now, if you know, this should be A1, J1. If you notice, these two are equal, these two are equal, those are equal, those two are equal, and those two are equal. That is, this product of N numbers is clearly the same as this product of N numbers. But do we use plus or minus? That comes from the number of inversions. So now we know up to a sign they're equal. Oh, and this is the, the, the determinant of A. And th this equal sign is invalid yet. But these are equal, equal, equal. Okay, we, we just don't know about the sign. So let's look at this more closely. Let's look at it more closely. Uh, we have AS, JS, and then we have, say, AS plus 1, JS plus 1, and we have our AS plus 2, JS plus 2, all the way up to our, say, AS plus K minus 1, JS plus K minus 1, and then AS plus K, JS plus K. Oops, J S plus K, where where 
S plus K is R. So all I did was is I wrote down these down here. I wrote them down here. Now, how, remember this is AJ, this is AR, JR. I want to interchange them. I want to interchange these two. So let's see what I have to do. So I'm going to put a box around each of these. I'm going to put a box around each of these. And now I'm going to move this one. Well, I'm going to move it behind here. Because I want to get this one to the right. And then I'll move this one to the left. So I moved it one time. Oh, notice. There's a one there. I moved it behind this one. Oh, I moved it two times. And then here I moved it. SK plus one times. So I moved SK plus I moved S plus K minus one times. K minus one times. I moved the K minus one times. Sorry, I moved K minus one Times. So now what I have is this. I have AS plus 1, JS plus 1, AS plus 2, JS plus 2, all the way down to AS plus K minus 1, JS plus K minus 1, and I moved AS, JS here, and then I have this one. So basically, uh, I just wrote those down. The first one we moved over here. Here it is. And then I have the AS plus K, uh, JS plus K1. Th that is AR, JR. Now, let's just forget about this one for a moment. Just for one moment. Now, remember a moment ago, I moved the first one behind this one, behind that one, and behind that one. Okay, now I'm going to move this one in front of the same K plus 1, K minus 1. So I moved K minus 1 times. But that's not true. I moved one more time. So I moved k plus k is 2k, 2k minus 1 times. I moved an odd number of times. Okay, now let's see what the significance of that is. These two values, they have to be different. So when I moved it, either I added an inversion or I took away an inversion. That is, if JS, if JS, if JS was smaller than S plus 1, there was no inversion. But now when I switched it here, JS plus 1 is bigger than JS. So we have an inversion. If JS was bigger already than this one, then before I moved it, if JS was bigger than JS plus 1, I didn't have an inversion. But you know what? Once I moved it here, now I, now I do. If JS was smaller, then JS plus 1, I didn't have an inversion. But once I move it, I have an inversion. Every time I switch to, the inversion either goes up one or down one. That is, 
every time I interchange two that are next to one another, the parity of their inversion number, that the oddness or evenness of their of their inversions change goes from odd to even, even to odd. Well, if you move, if you change the number, if you change here, yeah, the number of inversions, 2k times, or the parity, plus, minus, back to plus, back to minus, but you do go back and forth an even number of times. Plus, minus, plus, minus, four times, six times, eight times, the parity won't change, okay? A negative times a negative is a positive times a negative. It, it, it's not gonna change. But when you have that extra one at the end, remember this 2K minus one is two times K minus one plus one. 2K minus two plus one, 2k minus 1. You're going to have that one extra inversion. If you're plus and then you change twice, you go to minus, that's one change, you go to plus. That's two changes, we're back to where we started from. You change again, you change again, you're back to where you started from. Every time you change from a positive two times, you get back to a positive. If you have a negative and you change the parity once and then again, negative, still negative. Change it once to positive, change it a second time, you're at negative. The thing is, if you go one more time, a negative became positive, and one more time, a positive becomes negative. That is why we're not going to put plus or minus, we're going to put minus plus. And that's going to equal to the negative of the determinant of A. Because the determinant of A would have plus or minus. But since we have minus plus, it's the negative of the determinant of A. Determinant of B is equal to the determinant of A. That completes this video on determinants. If you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends about my channel. Most of all, watch and learn.